Taking you now to Hamilton County, where some areas saw snowfall up to 10 inches yesterday. The area is still under a travel advisory tonight. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan is live in Carmel right now. Mike, what are you seeing there tonight? Well, I'm told this is the last of the work that crews have to do, and they're actually just coming and driving through our live shot here right now. If you saw me look over, trying to make sure they're not coming through. But what they're trying to work on are some of these big snow mounds you see behind me. They were cleared as part of the movement of the snow through those roads and out of the ways and left here in this parking lot. And they've been working on this for the past few hours and will continue as we've been standing here. But work also continues elsewhere in Hamilton County. Go guys, go get her. Noblesville Street or the Iditarod? <laughs> Take your pick. Meredith Engerski has her decision already made. He's the brains on this, and then he's the brawn. This is Meek and Hova, her two Huskies who obey her commands. I run triathlons, and so he's the one that follows me, and that's how I trained him. The puffy snow doesn't quite work for us. We need the padded down. The type of subarctic snow we are seeing this week, it can turn her street. You ready over there? Unexpectedly. Oh, I guess we're just going to mush! Into a race. Meanwhile, her commute. It was terrible. It was awful. 100%. Go! Go! We need the kids to go to school. We, they need to go to school so I can go to work. <laughs> Hamilton County EMA expects roads to improve for tomorrow, but travel advisories will remain in yellow for tonight. Big help for tonight because with temperatures dipping down you know, to below zero, we really could see some black ice and slick spots on the, on the roads. EMA saying the sun aided plows in clearing roadways. The main concern areas now are rural locations with drifting. There will definitely be crews out salting overnight. As for Carmel, we have 460 miles of streets in Carmel, 1,100 cul-de-sac. Crews began attacking those at noon, finishing seven hours later. The trail system, uh, parts of the Monon are already done and plowed, but there could be some parts that are not completely plowed yet. Not that it matters for Meredith. She blazes her own trails. Well, Hamilton County EMA is expecting roads to be safe in the morning for a commute and potentially for schools, but of course, that'll be up to those individual school districts to make those decisions. EMA says it could be possible that they stay closed just because of the cold or go with things virtually. Live in Carmel, I'm Mike Sullivan. Back to you. Mike, that looked like fun. Thanks so much.